Hey, so welcome. It is Thursday. Uh, my name is Karen. I'm a holistic transformation coach. Um, I help people, well, I help give them a kick up the backside and uh, find their mojo if they've lost their mojo. So I help people, whatever their goal is, uh, achieve their goal, whether it's, it's, it's in a month's time, three months, six months, 12 months, whether it's to build a business, increase their income, just lose weight, feel good about themselves, whatever it is. My 10-day challenge, Finding Mojo, is designed to just get them back on track. So Tuesdays and Thursdays is more niche specified. So today's live stream is regarding exercise. So today's topics, cardio versus weight training. Which one is best for weight loss? Right. So many people, especially women, want to do cardio, 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 cardio. They've got to go for a run. You really do not have to do this, especially if weight loss is a target. However, and there is a rub here. So in general, cardio exercise is aerobic exercise, which means anything that you do that you get that gets you a little bit out of breath. That could be just walking, cycling, swimming, running. Anything that is working the heart, that so is strengthening the heart muscle. However, a lot of women think that if, if they're going to burn fat, they've just got to do steady state aerobic exercise for, you know, you don't start burning fat till at least 20 minutes in anyway. And that will depend on what you're eating, okay? Whether you're on a low carb diet, high carb diet. So if weight loss is your goal, actually, weight training is essential. Women are so scared of picking up weights. Trust me, you're not going to look like Arnie. Do you know how hard it is to build muscle, right? So please don't be afraid of picking up weight and heavy weights at that because if you um, have more muscle tone, then your body needs more calories just to do its daily activities, right? So you can actually burn more calories. And the difference being, when you do cardio exercise, yes, your metabolism is raised slightly, but as soon as you stop, your met metabolism will go back to normal. However, when you weight train, your metabolism is a lot higher and it will stay higher. And it actually means that you'll be burning fat even when you're sleeping. So there are two differences. But when I said there's a rub, <laughs> so when people are following a low carb high fat diet and incorporating intermittent fasting into their regime for specific fat loss in that scenario i would actually only advise cardio exercise and there is a reason for that right it's very different to anybody training uh, in general i'm still gonna say you need weight training as well however in the beginning, when you're transitioning from a, a high carb diet to a low carb diet, you want to only stick to cardio. One reason is that you, you want to use up the glycogen, which is stored carbohydrates stored in your muscles. You want to use it up as quickly as possible so that your body is forced to burn fat. OK, it's going to work slightly differently doing, doing weight training. Um, secondly, um, you want to be because it's going to encourage, if you're focusing on a low carb diet, you've depleted your glycogen stores. As your body gets used to burning fat, if you cardio exercise on top of that, your liver can create up to 700 calories per day of ketones, which is stored fat, if you like. It's when you turn fat into energy to be used. So even without eating anything, right, your liver will produce 700 calories per day from your fat stores. So then if you're doing cardio exercise in that state, you're just going to burn so much more. So there is a big, big difference. If you're not following a low-carb, um, high-fat diet and you're eating normally, so you're eating high carb, I would say weight training is going to be the way to go over cardio any day of the week. However, if you are trying to get fat adapted, which means low carb, high fat, and you want to burn fat, cardio is the way. So 
I hope that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, get in touch. This is what I teach on the 10 day challenge, Finding Mojo, because yes, I am an advocate for the low carb, high fat lifestyle, not just for weight loss, um, but actually for reversing type two diabetes, ADHD, I mean, Alzheimer's, there's all sorts of other health implications where um, following this way of life, because it is a lifestyle, is going to help. But that is a different when you're coming to exercise. Yeah, you want a combo of cardio and weight training, but that's the difference between for weight loss, weight training if you're eating a high carb diet, yes, because it's going to raise your metabolism for longer, you're going to be burning more calories in your sleep. However, if you're going the low carb route, then cardio all the way. Any questions? Get in touch.